Option pricing is based on the unknown future outcome for the underlying asset. If we knew where the market would be at expiration, we could perfectly price every option today. No one knows where the price will be, but we can draw some conclusions using pricing models. When looking at call options, a higher strike will cost less than a lower strike. If the underlying asset price has risen dramatically and you had chosen a higher strike price rather than a lower strike, your payoff will be less because you have foregone the first part of the upward price movement. To get an idea how much the premium should be at each strike, we're going to use a simple model. Assume an asset is priced at $100 and has the characteristics of moving $1 each month, either up or down. In this model, we will assume the price movement repeats every month over the life of the option, and the option expiration will occur in four months. What is the probability for each of the possible price outcomes after four months? In this model, there are 16 possible paths that lead to each of the five price outcomes. The probability for each outcome can be calculated by aggregating the paths for each price. There is only one path to reach the price point of 104. Now let's look at 102. There are one, two, three, four paths, and there are six paths that lead to 100. For the price of 98, there are four paths, and for 96, again, we see only one path, which means the probability of reaching any one price point in this model is the number of paths in this price point divided by the total number of paths. These fractions are the probability of reaching each price point. The probability of the price reaching 104 is 1 over 16 or 0 0.0625. The probability of reaching 102 is 0.25 and so on. Now that we have the probability for each price point, we can start pricing options with different strike prices. You first need to know the payoff for each strike price at the defined price level. For example, the 97 call with an underlying price level of 96 would be an out of the money option. The payoff is zero. At a price level of 98, the 97 call is now in the money, and the payoff is $1. At 100, the payoff is $3. At 102, the payoff is $5. And at 104, the payoff would be $7. To find the probability weighted payoff, we multiply the probability for each price point by the payoff amount. At 96, the 97 call will be 0 times 0 0.0625, which equals 0. At 98, the 97 call will be 1 times 0.25, which equals 0.25. At 100, the total would be 1.125. At 102, the total would be 1.25. And at 104, the total would be 0.4375. The theoretical price for a 97 call would be the sum of the probability weighted payoffs. In this case, the sum would be 3.0625. Now, we'll find the theoretical price for a 99 call. The payoff amount at 96 is zero, as the option is out of the money. At 98, the option is still out of the money, and again, the payoff will be zero. At 100, the payoff will be one. At 102, the payoff will be three. And at 104, the payoff will be five. Again, we multiply the payoffs by the probability at each price point. At 96 and 98, the result is zero. At 100, we get 0.375. At 102, we have 0.75 and at 104, we have 0.3125. When we sum all of these weighted prices, the theoretical price for the 99 call will be 1.4375. Continuing the mathematics for each strike price, we see the 101 strike has a theoretical price of 0.4375, and the 103 strike has a theoretical price of 0.0625. It should be no surprise that the 103 strike has less value than the 101 strike as the probability of it being in the money is much less. Traders use proprietary models to determine if the prices in the marketplace are in line with their views. We have shown you a very simple binomial model, which assumes that the market will move a set amount either up or down over each period. Even the more advanced models still provide only estimates for the option price, and they are still based on assumptions about the future. These theoretical pricing models provide options traders the ability to track and measure option prices.